these non-slip lace shoe liners. They have several different colors. They have gray, they have beige, they have black, they have white, and they have, I don't know, something like a pale pink. Also from Peds, they have the uh, boot socks. You get two pair for a dollar. That's a good deal. I'm only seeing the dark brown in those. And new socks, they added some bedazzle to them. Um, not sure if they'll stay on. Well, yeah, that, it's like a sticker. I thought it was actual uh, jewels, but women's socks, sizes five to nine. This looks like a llama. This looks like a cat. They also have two pair of these no-show um, show socks. I love Dollar Tree socks. So those are new. Also, these women's athletic socks are very, very comfortable. I buy these and uh, they're very good quality. I buy those on a regular. This Lusty Organics Olive Oil Braid Sheen is new, at least new to me. It says excellent for weaves and braids. Um, and you get a nice amount of product for a dollar. They also have the other Lusty products. This seems to be new, the Natural Hair Care line. I bought it, so I will try it and keep you guys posted if you have natural hair. Finally seeing these candle holders at Dollar Tree. They come in four different colors. I never thought these would come to Long Island. They took forever to get here. And I am in Massapequa on Carmen's Road. Also happy to see this eyebrow kit from Broadway. Um, yeah, really surprised to see this because Dollar Trees by me have been dry lately. And this lasting drama, it's matte and it is a automatic pencil, um, eyeliner, perfect full color, but I don't know about now, but these new succulent decor pieces are really, really cute. Um, there are three different varieties of the succulent, succ succulents, but the rainbows are all the same. Um, really cute for a children's room to put on the shelf or whatever, or top of a desk. Really nice. Finally seeing these Buddha heads. This is like a iridescent gray and the other color they have is like an iridescent white. Um, I believe these are the only two options. I finally found um, the lotions that match um, the body washes from aromatherapy from April, April bath and shower. They also have the bath salts in the same sense. So they have the lavender and chamomile and they also have the um, mint and eucalyptus scented. First time seeing this true matte lipstick from Broadway. Um, this is the only color I'm seeing. I love a matte lipstick, so I'm hoping that they deliver. Hi guys, how are you? Long time no see. Um, this week I kinda, well, wasn't my choice. I mean, Dollar Trees by me have been doing me dirty. So I really, I also took a break. I really did. Sunday, I think I only went to Dollar Tree once. It was a waste of my time. And I went later in the day. Like I stayed home all day. I didn't leave my house till close to 7 p.m. Went to Lindenhurst and Massapequa. Waste of time. Monday, I didn't go to Dollar Tree at all. And that was the first day in a long time that I did not go to Dollar Tree. And Tuesday, I got a lot done at home. In the love den, I de-Christmased everything. I spruced up my entertainment center and I'm making some decor changes down here and I'm liking how it's turning out. Um, so I will be sharing with you how I spruced up the TV stand. I also will be sharing with you some beautiful wall art that I found at um, Burlington that I'm going to be hanging and also some a little bit of decor that I found at Dollar General. Uh, but first we're going to get into this sorry, 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 sorry Dollar Tree haul. Um, this is the worst Dollar Tree haul that I've had in a long, long time. I really don't think they're getting trucks or for whatever reason, things that I'm seeing online are not coming to New York um, until weeks and weeks 
later. Uh, some of the stuff I found today I have seen posted uh, three weeks ago, okay? Um, but I do have a road trip coming up. Uh, we're going to be headed down to North Carolina. I want to go see my mother. I have not seen my mother since July of 2019 um, due to COVID. Um, haven't seen her, um, so I can't wait. So on that road trip, I hope to get lucky and uh, check out some Dollar Trees along the way. We will be driving. Um, so I'm hopeful. But anyway, also another thing, and I think I said this last January, if you've been following me, maybe you heard me say this before. I think I may be switching up uh, my hauls to where I just do in stores to show you guys and not so much hauls because I do want to cut down on my Dollar Tree shopping. A lot of these items, I've shared this with you guys before, I'm addicted to deals. So it's not just Dollar Tree. I love Family Dollar. I like Dollar General, Burlington, um, not Macy's, but I like Macy's Backstage. It's like the deal. It's like, I don't know if, if it's a rush, if it's a high for me to save money. Um, not so much with the items because I have a lot of items piled up and a part of the cleaning is you have to organize and you have to store these items and I'm going out buying storage bins to store items that I don't use so I really need to I really really need to uh, work on that and try to only get what I need and I can honestly say on Tuesday when I went to Dollar Tree I got what I needed um so I hope I can keep this momentum going. Let's get into this haul. I've talked to you enough, but you haven't seen me in a while, so hello. All right, this was the long time wishes items, these candle holders. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I wish it was more pink, but this is... From the end store, you can tell that this is not the purple one, but it gives me like purple hues, okay? But it, it, it this is the pink version of it, not the purple. Um, and you would see that on the end store. So I got two of these. Now, what I'm going to be doing to this is changing the color of this room to gold. Okay. Yes. I'm going to be painting that gold. All right. And then I'm going to be leaving these as is. Okay. Because the accent color in this area is silver and I got two of these. So those are gorgeous. That was a long time wish list find. And what was the other one? Don't tell me. That was the only thing I found. Um, I was hoping to find this. I have seen Broadway makeup at, I believe, Family Dollar and I believe Dollar General. I don't know if Walmart carries this brand. Sorry about the glare, guys. But this is their eyebrow kit. You get two shades of brow, brow powder, dark brown and black, and then you get the eyebrow wax. And also, it must come with an applicator. Yes, one angled brush with spoolie. Um, yeah, for the brows. Okay, sometimes I use powder, sometimes I use a gel, sometimes I use a pencil. Right now I'm using a gel. I like go back and forth. Um, this is from LA Colors. I found it at Five Below and it's their stay put formula and it does really, I'm really impressed. I didn't believe it. What is the other cheap brand that they have in Dollar Tree that is a 99 cent store brand? I don't know, but it's out there. And I'm telling you, I bought their brow kit and I'm telling you, God forbid you put your hand there, your brow is gone. <laughs> so I will not be buying any more products from them. It's, it's in Dollar Tree. I can't think of their name. It's not Beauty Benefits. It's in Dollar Tree. If I remember, I'll tell you guys. So I got two of these, okay? And I also found this True Matte Hot Pink Lipstick. I'm not wearing it now. This is that wet and wild stay put and this is another one it really does stay put and it really doesn't transfer but I told you it makes your lips very dry so you have to put a um lip balm on first so I'm, I'm this is the only color I seen um I've seen other people haul it um in their hauls or show it in their hauls and I'm only seeing them show hot pink okay but I think they're going to have more products. Something that I found, and I found this in Lindenhurst. And if you're in New York on Long Island, you know Lindenhurst. 
this is the one thing I found Sunday night. This is from Lusty Organics. It's the Olive Oil Braid Sheen. It says, excellent for weaves and braids. This is new. And yes, I've been rocking my natural hair, but I want to get some croquet braids or some fox locks um, in the near future. And I got this for that. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Moisturizer to control itching, dryness, and irritation associated with braids, weaves, and extensions. This is a good find for a dollar. Okay, so I was happy about that. Something else I seen. This is from Bic. And this is the Soleil Sensitive. Three flexible blades. Comfort Shield. Usually my favorite razor from Dollar Tree is the Assured Men's Six Blade Razor. That is my go-to razor. Um, next, if I have to, I do buy the women's five blade, but I just think the men's razors work better for me. Um, so I did see this in Massapequa on Carmen's Road. I only picked up one because the last time they had the Bic razors, I bought them to use for myself. They were the men's razors and I just wasn't impressed. Like I said, the Assured razors work well for me. Something else I got from Dollar Tree are the storage bins. Um, I had been waiting and looking for the hot pink ones that they have out, um, did not find them. And I'm glad that I did not find them because this piece that I'm using these for, um, I bought the shelf from five below and I bought the bins for it from five below and they were two for five. These are actually bigger and, um, I really like them. So I only thought I was buying six, but I bought seven. Sorry about the glare guys. Okay. These are big and I'm going to show you, um, how they're being used now. Now this, this storage unit I got from five below, it was only $5 and I had their bins, but they over time got really messed up. So this, these fit perfectly. And in the bottom is where we're keeping all the DVD movies, um, for $5 that was a good deal it was in the recording area but um i bought something else to store those items so i didn't want to get rid of this so all i did was change the bins and um i'm happy with them also want to share how i spruced up this tv stand this is a used tv stand that we had got off of facebook marketplace it was nicked up i had said i was going to stain it i was gonna had all these big plans for it never got around to it well i used this furniture marker that I got from Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of three and I got the one with the darker wood. It's a black, this one in like a cherry wood color and it covered all the chipped and wood marks. You can't even tell that it was ever there. And then I just added um, some Dollar Tree decor, some pieces I got from Five Below. I got that from Five Below. That's Dollar Tree. That's Burlington. These are the signs from um, Dollar Tree. I got that from Dollar General. Yeah. So it looks so much freaking better. Um, looks like a much different TV stand, so I will be keeping it. Really, really, really impressed with these. I also said, well, maybe it's not going to stay on the wood. Maybe you'll be able to rub it right off. I tried it, and... So far, it's staying on. So these are down the tool aisles. If you have a piece of furniture, there's two different sets. So they have a three pack that have like the lighter colors and then a three pack furniture marker that has the darker colors. I am going to be picking up a backup because this did work. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Before we move on to the other stores, I want to show you a Valentine's Day DIY that I'm working on right now. No. I didn't make it upstairs, y'all. I didn't, but I got a lot done in this area. I'm very, very proud of myself, seriously. Because with me working all those hours, it just was chaos down here. And you feel better when your area is organized, at least I do, and clean and stuff like that. I had laundry built. It, it was just a mess. And I'm glad that I feel accomplished. I could say I, I did something on these four days that I had off. So... This was a part of my Dollar Tree um, haul. These glasses are gorgeous. And I was saying, how can I use these um, as 
a centerpiece. Okay, so I bought three of them. I'm only probably going to end. Yeah, I need to get one more because I have a new idea if I make two. So I got this. I got some gold spray paint. I had to get the round floral bowl, floral bowl, styrofoam bowl, the round one. Couldn't find it at Dollar Tree. Sometimes they have them. Sometimes they don't. I got it from Walmart and um, used it for this project, okay? Then I said, it's not tall enough. How can I make it taller? And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already, okay? But I am just so in love with this. So I spray painted the glass. Um, I got to fill it in some, guys, okay? I'm not finished. And as a matter of fact, it's not even glued down. So you see, it's not glued down, so it's fine. Um, I had these beads, a roll of these fake it's not glued down so um i just i'm gonna glue it to this toothpick that i have sticking out but i got a roll of those sh fake looking chandelier beads from amazon i never used them i had projects that i wanted to use them for never used them i'm using them for this one so all you're going to do is take the dollar tree roses and stick them into the styrofoam ball you're going to glue the styrofoam ball down again i didn't glue it down yet because i'm not finished this is just we're in production but this wasn't tall enough for me i, I said i wish it was taller how can i make it taller so then i was thinking this was my first thought i have to spray paint this um gold but i said no that looks corny how can i do this and make it taller okay Someone on the Instagram said, why don't you put it on a candlestick? Um, I was thinking of gluing a Dollar Tree candlestick, but then this is kind of heavy and that candlestick will be thin. I was worried about the weight. So I got the idea while in Dollar Tree. This will be spray painted gold. And this, Lord, get it together, girl. I'm going to fill this area in with roses so you will not see the styrofoam bowl. You won't even probably see the base of this one. And I'm going to have the chandelier beads hanging longer. Maybe I might put a light in there. But then how would you turn it off? That's the thing. If you had one of those remote control lights, maybe. I don't know. But it's going to look pretty. I will make sure you can't see none of the green styrofoam bowl. So stay tuned, guys. I will share the finished product with you. I'm still uh working on it okay but i am just before we go to dollar general i just really am in love with this and i can't wait to see the finished product if you don't mind it being this height then by all means it could stay this height but i'm gonna have it on my fireplace and i want you to be able to see all the details so i don't know just imagine you won't see the green at all, but just imagine flowers going, covering that area. It's going to be gorgeous. It really is going to be gorgeous. I don't think y'all see the vision. I don't think y'all see the vision. Gold. Chandelier beads hanging long, different lengths. I don't think y'all see the vision. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now we can move on. And you could change the flowers. They're just sticking into the styrofoam. So you could take them out and you could change the flowers seasonal. Stick with your girl, okay? Because I am going to master that centerpiece, okay? So we're going into Dollar General. Um, my bathroom in the Love Den is a nautical theme. And this time of year, I don't know why, they put out all their nautical home decor. Um, so I just wanted to get some new pieces to add to that. Um, I might take down some of the Dollar Tree uh, nautical wool art that I have and um, replace it with some new um, Dollar General wall decor. Because I have to tell you, Dollar General's home decor is, I love it. It, 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 it's, it does not scream dollar anything to me. So I got this fish really, really cute. And it was only $3. Okay. It's metal and, um, just hang it up. Okay. So I got the fish and I got two signs because I do have a shelf in there. My heart is at the shore and these were only a dollar. 
And just the detail. Can you see the sand there? Just the detail. Love it. And this one says, enjoy every moment. And again, it has the sand detail there. Um, there was one that even had um, little tiny, tiny, tiny seashells on the bottom. You cannot beat this, okay, for a dollar. Love it. And then they also had these two signs. These also were a dollar, okay, this one. There is no place like home. And then they had this one. God bless our little home. So I fell in love with those. And they had some more pieces. I do have more pieces. Hold on. Hold on. They had this one because I was looking for wall decor down there because I have no pictures on the walls down here in this area except this large New York City scene. Um, so I wanted something for that wall and for behind the TV. I went to Dollar General first and then Burlington. If I went to Burlington, I don't think I would have got these pieces, but I got them. So I want to share them with you. And this was only $4. I expected it to be more. It was not labeled. So I just thought it'd be like $8 or something. This one says, love never fails. So this is like a little 10 piece right here. And this is a faux wood frame and it's like a light whitewashed gray. So I really liked that. Okay. And also got this one. This was $8. Let me sit back. It says family. So it's the black with the silver metal letters. And again, silver is the accent color down here. So I got those from Dollar General, but had I found these, what I'm going to show you, we're going to go to Burlington first. And I'm, I'm sorry, I did not get any in store. By the time I made it to the store Tuesday night, I looked crazy. Um, I was in pajamas like I am now. Um, I'm glad I didn't run into anybody because like I said, I just was running out because I had finished the area, the TV stand. Um, I put together that coffee table that I showed you in the haul that I got from Dollar General that I'm going to be showing you now that I absolutely love. It's not on the Dollar General website. I found it walking out of the store. They had it right by the door. And I'm not a coffee table person. I didn't, never really wanted one. I had boys, you know, they run around and touching everything. Just didn't have a coffee table. Um, but I'm really loving this cute coffee table. So let me show you that now, and then we're going to go to Burlington. Okay, we're going to Burlington. This coffee table is the freaking cutest. Again, it's that gray whitewashed wood or faux wood look. Um, no tools required. It's a collapsible coffee table, which is perfect because if you want to put it away, it snaps together one, two, three. The wood top comes off. And this is, if you have throw pillows, this is the bomb.com because the top, you just place the top on the coffee table. You could put your throw pillows inside when you have company because I don't know about you, but my coffee, my throw pillows are not for you to flatten, okay? Leaning all back. Some people could be real disrespectful uh, with, um, you know, with your throw pillows. They don't give a damn. Um, so... I would put my throw pillows in there. You could even get nice baskets and put inside and use it for storage. I really love this. This was $24. And every Saturday, Dollar General has $5 off $25. And you could just, I bought um, two 50 cent candy bars. Not that I needed them. But they wouldn't let me use the coupon unless I spent actually $25. It, it's not the after tax price. It's before tax price. But again, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Check your local Dollar Generals. It matched my decor. It's the perfect size. And again, it collapses. This just snaps together. It, it was together in 10 minutes. And like I said, you could lift the top up. You could put baskets in it if you want to and use it for storage or throw your throw pillows in there when you have company. So I wanted to share that. Let's get into the Burlington home decor wall art. Right. Burlington is so freaking affordable. Um, I like them and they're open till 11 p.m. out here, y'all. So I was in Burlington too. I didn't get home till almost 10.30. Um, I got this one for my recording area. 
I could not leave this behind. I have similar pieces, you know, from Dollar Tree with the glam items. And I have a couple of Burlington pieces. I think one. I say a couple bragging like I got it like that. I might have one other Burlington piece, but this was only $7.99. Could not leave this behind. Look at the detail, okay? Look at the detail. So this is going in my glam area. Now, the ones that I'm going to show you now, I bought because their sayings really resonated with me. And it's also a plus that they match my color scheme. This one says, the most important work you will do with will be within the walls of your home. And that is really, really true. The relationships that we have, a lot of us put our career. I know many years I worked two jobs, seven days a week sometimes, um, and, you know, you think you're doing something, you know. Um, yes, I was a provider. I took care of my kids. But, um, you know, the most important thing is home. Of course, we have to work to maintain home. But we can't get so caught up in our work lives that we forget about the people at home. So that one was important. I really like that one. And this one says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And it, it really is nice. Again, matches the home decor. And I like that this feels um, the texture in this too. Not that people are going to be walking up to your wall and touching it. Now, I got this to go in Mr. Fuller's area, his half of the uh, recording area slash bedroom. Uh, he loves to take pictures. Um, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't turn out, take another shot. I love this. Now, this was $12.99, and I'm not going to lie to you. I, I didn't want to pay $12.99. I didn't, but I could not leave that behind. Um, and this one was $6.99, um, and that was, again, $7.99. So you see the prices here. Let me show you the two bigger pieces. And I don't know who this Wendy Bellissimo is. This is from Wendy Bellissimo Home. I think I have another piece that says her name on it. And I just love this saying, and so together they built a life they loved and I think this is going to go above the TV um, it's a nice size piece this was $14.99 okay beautiful wall art the frame is like this dark black but distressed wood and the 3d letters I just love it and the saying I love and this is another big piece I think it's going to go on that it is going on that wall over there and I just love it. The distressed gray wood. Um, it says, welcome home where memories are made. Tears are shed. Love is felt. Ref and refuge is found. You belong here. Now, I really love this piece. But I was like, tears are shed. I don't want to be home crying. But I have cried here. I'm just, <laughs> I, I get what it's saying. But I just love it. Um, but that was the one thing that was going to make me put it back. Because I do not want to be home crying. I want to be in peace. I want to be happy. I want to... You know, this is my refuge. So I still got the picture. I know I'm reading into it too much, but this is really, really nice. And this is a really, really big piece. This was my most expensive piece at $16.99. And you know that's a good deal. So this area will be complete um, because I've wanted something for the walls for a long time. And I'm happy, you know, the, the TV stand, because just the day before, Mr. Fuller was saying, oh, we should get another TV stand or whatever. We paid 30 bucks for this. I mean, really don't want to get another TV stand. So I'm, I'm happy that it, it does look better. So look for the furniture markers and uh, stay tuned for the centerpiece and stay tuned for Valentine's Day, guys. At least the items are in the house. They're actually upstairs. So that's where I'm at with it, guys. So I will stay tuned. Um, if anything comes up at the tree worth sharing, you will see me before uh, we get on the road. But I'm just not optimistic. I re I'm really not. It's to the point where I'm disgusted. I'd rather go, um, you know, Burlington, you know, to, to stores where I know I'm going to walk in and walk out with something. Yes, I'll pay a little bit more. But, I mean, is it worth it with, when you add the gas and the time that you're spending? I know I'm talking junk, y'all. I'll probably be at Dollar Tree tomorrow. So don't pay me no mind. But one of the ladies that I follow on Instagram, I don't 
want to spell her user. I'm going to put her name on the screen. Her username is that girl Witta, I believe. Um, I want to move where she is. I want to just ask her, can you take me in? Because her Dollar Trees and uh, she's by a 99 cent only store. Check her out on Instagram. Her finds are ridiculous ridiculously in a good way okay so i'll put her username on the screen check out her page i felt feel so bad because she picked me up um i think she got me the grapevine heart reefs and she got me the um the muffin pants the heart-shaped muffin pants and i think she might have found the silicone heart-shaped baking cups and she wants to send them to me that's so nice of her that's very nice of her and I appreciate it. And that's nice because I, I guess she felt sorry for me. I mean, I don't be on Instagram whining y'all, but I mean, it's just, it's just sick and, 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 and sorry right now. Dollar Tree, if you're watching, they don't care. Nobody cares. Dollar Tree does not give a damn about me. All this free publicity. They don't care. But anyway, thanks for rocking with your girl. And, um, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments and I will talk to you guys soon. Let me know if you like these finds. Um, do you have a Burlington near you? If you do, you should really, really check them out because they have some really, really nice um, home decor pieces and very, very affordable. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.